Hello, this is Tawanda with Seamster Studio. In case you're wondering, yes, I did change my name from Mrs. T. Stitch and Sew to Seamster's Studio. Today I'm going to speak with you or talk with you about a garment that I made um, using Vogue 1286. Actually, I just used the top of Vogue 1286 and Simplicity 8597. I used the uh, skirt of this skirt, and this skirt is, um, let me check, line joins. It is view A uh, with the train. So I used um, view A um, for this garment. Um, was, uh, this is for a client. And the client wanted to have an African themed uh, garment. So um, she ordered her fabric um, and I will put in the description box where she ordered the fabric. Um, <clears throat> and so let's get into the garment itself. My most challenging um, thing that I had was this bodice. Um, as you can see, the bodice is open. I left out this center part of this garment so that she could have kind of like a peekaboo um, uh, opening here. Um, like I said, the most challenging part was this, this the bodice. Um, the back of the bodice, as you can see here, and the line joins, you have lines, I mean, um, straps in the back, and um, this part was pretty easy. This gave me the most uh, challenge is the this part right here. And um, when you're combining two patterns, you gotta know the measurements, and her measurements. Um, for the bottom half was um, she had a 42 and a half inch wide hip but her bodice was small so she had a um, I think her bodice bust was I want to say 32 B she should be cup so I also put in cups in the inside um, the garment is lined As you can see, it is lined inside and out. The skirt is lined all the way down to the train. Um, but in all, uh, this was a very rewarding garment. I uh, enjoyed making it. It was challenging and rewarding at the same time. So I have some pics and videos of the client in the garment that I will show um, right after this. Thank you for stopping by. There was one last thing I forgot to tell you. I made, I used Butterick uh, B5725 um, for the head wrap. Um, I don't have it with me. The client has it um, in her pics. You can see it, but she just wanted something to put tie around her pony 
and um, you can barely see it, but it, it is there. So I did make a head wrap for her um, for her garment. Got to tell you that. So I hope you enjoyed that display, that runway of the dress. There was one, two things I forgot to mention. This bodice had about 20 pieces to it. Um, I think that was why I was, it was so challenging to me because it had so many pieces. Whereas the um, skirt had a front, two side fronts, back and two side backs so it had five pieces no two four six pieces six pieces for the skirt and i love the fact that the skirt was like all one piece um to me that's a better look um that i like to see on long dresses than to have it kind of chopped off at the knee and an extension so this is my favorite form of uh uh, uh, um, the length and the train to me this is the better one um, in my opinion so I want to thank you for stopping by uh, also uh, if you uh, like this content if you liked what you saw if you have questions if you have comments suggestions all of that good stuff please leave it down in the comment section <laughs> and if you uh, don't mind if you really like what you saw, please hit the like button. And for the newcomers, I'm hoping that you would want to come back and see more of what I have to offer. If you do, please hit that subscribe button and click the bells and to make sure that when I do come on, you will be notified immediately. Again, I thank you for stopping by Seamster Studio, and I look forward to uh, seeing you again. Hopefully, it won't be so long. Thanks. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.